it depends if it has a support contract or not. If it does not, I, I mean, a Clarion can be used uh, for a multitude of things. One of the first things I would consider it for would be uh, a good lab environment. Um, you know, many many admins, you know, uh, complain that they don't have a good environment to test out the different type of technologies that they're considering implementing. And a Clarion will give you the ability to have a fully functional storage array in your environment that's SAN, you know, iSCSI or uh, FCOE connected uh, to, to give you, to emulate a true production environment. Uh, it can also be used for, um, I mean, if you wanted to use it for, let's say, an archive storage array, uh, that, that, that's also an option because, again, we get back to, you know, the, the data brokering, a, a Clarion is much cheaper than a VNX will be. So in that sense, you know, if you've got an environment where you've got data that just needs to be archived and not really accessed very much, it, it would behoove you to put that data in an environment that does not, you know, break the bank, so to speak. So it really depends on what your use case is, but, you know, Clarion storage array is, is, uh, is, is I would say, just as, almost as robust as a VNX, if you've got it updated to the latest available flare code on that storage array, you can use some of the functionality that you get in the VNX platform, such as using storage pools and tiered, tiered technology.